Crack cocaine. What is smoking crack like? Let's go. Before I get into what smoking crack is like, remember Sober Dogs does not promote or condone any drug use. Please seek professional medical help if you have an addiction. Please, if you could help support us on Patreon, I'd really appreciate it. And hit that subscribe, leave a comment, smash that like. Thank you very much. All right, so crack cocaine. Before I get into what smoking it is like, what is it? Well, crack is powdered cocaine, which is a hydrochloride salt in its powdered form. It's cooked up with baking soda and turned into a solid. That's what crack is. When it's at room temperature, it's quite, it's pretty hard. I would describe it kind of like a candle. When it's heated up even slightly on a hot warm day, you could kind of squeeze it like candle wax. But when it's at a colder room temperature, it's pretty hard. But that's pretty much what crack is and how it is uh, when you're physically holding it in that form. People smoke it out of glass pipes, glass tubes, the old love roses, or the, you know they buy the little love flower, love rose at the gas station, but really we all know what they're being used for. Yeah, it's a crack pipe. That's what people smoke it out of, or other glass pipes. Um, sometimes you could hit it off tin foil, but kind of turns into a mess and is a little bit of a disaster. To the big question, what is smoking crack like? Smoking crack is basically a two to five minute and really the peak part of it only lasts about 45 seconds to a minute and a half, is like a rocket going off in your brain. It's like an orgasm in the brain, a rocket orgasm roller coaster all at once. It is literally releasing, you know, a thousand times, hundreds to thousands of times the dopamine as sex and chocolate and other things that make us very pleasurable in life. It's releasing, you know, dozens of times the dopamine of nicotine and even alcohol and other drugs. It just psh, is this rocket ship going off. The immediate effects are it releases a thousand times the normal dopamine level within 10 seconds of going off in the brain. So just imagine that, you know, imagine the dopamine released through skydiving or sex or chocolate. And we're talking dozens, if not hundreds of times more than that. It is this euphoric feeling in the brain that is so freaking intense. It is insane. It, but it only lasts, you know, 45 seconds to a minute and a half. It's just, you take that hit and then you feel the slow come up. Oh, oh, and a lot of people get stuck. I used to get stuck. Just leave me alone. And you're starting to get the ears ringing and the bell, you, you know, they call it the bell ringers. Basically, sounds start to get distorted. Whoa, they sound, they sound weird. I used to blast the radio and get that distorted sound. And your ears are also ringing, but like a pleasurable ring at the same time. Basically, a minute and a half to five minutes. You're still high, but it's slowly starting to come down. And you're not getting those peak effects like you were. It's just like a slow pleasure that's still there, but it's coming down and it's on its way down. And when people are using the whole time, they're chasing that peak 30 second high in the beginning. This next five to 10 minute period, they don't care. We're not really worried about that. That's not what we're chasing. We're chasing the 30 second insane roller coaster high. The absolute worst part is after that 10 minutes is up roughly give or take for different people when the come down starts the brain has just released a thousand times the dopamine of normal you know normal levels so now it's sending signals to itself don't make dopamine you don't need to make it we have a ton in here but the dopamine is now going down and the brain is not making it. You don't go back down to baseline when you come down. You go way lower and it sucks. The come down from crack is brutal. It is a desperation, depression, misery where you will do anything and everything to get more. During this period, this is in the movies where you'll see people just go nuts when they're de you know depicting a crack addict. 
This is the, the period where they're just begging for more. They'll do anything for, you know, to get that next hit because the come down is so low and there's nothing that could replace it in our brain except more drugs. The only other fix, so to speak, for it is an extended period of time. If that person can wait, you know, weeks and months without doing anything, their brain starts to slowly rebuild. But besides that, the only thing that'll fix it immediately like that is more drugs. And that's why they're desperate for more. This leads into the short-term effects of crack use. You got loss of appetite, dilated pupils, increased heart rate, temperature, increased blood pressure, nausea, energy burst, hyperstimulation, focus, uh, sounds, visual, touches, all those are hyperstimulated, talkative, some people go 100 miles an hour, other people get stuck, uh, some people just move, 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 go nuts. OCD, clean the same little two square inch spot, you know, for five, seven, 10, 20 minutes, I'd get stuck sometimes in my car messing with the same little one spot, just shh, 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 shh. Bizarre, erratic, sometimes violent behavior. I'd say more of the violent behaviors during the come down period, that's definitely a tough period. Can hallucinate from coke uh, and crack, definitely big time. Uh, the coke bugs can definitely be a serious thing. I got those bad. If you don't know what they are, I'll put the card up. Tactile hallucinations, they're called formication. Basically the feeling of bugs on or around our skin crawling on us, it's a gross little feeling. And then extreme depression. Those are all the short-term effects. Long-term effects of crack use. Tooth decay, tooth loss, mouth sores, a lot of times these sores, they're, they're from the chemicals in the drugs, but also more than likely they're from burns. What ends up happening is when somebody hits the crack pipe, the pipe gets really hot. They're so addicted and want that next hit so bad, so quick, they put it to their lips to take the next hit while the pipe is still burning hot and burn their lips. That is a lot of times what the mouth sores are cause heart damage, liver, lung, kidney damage, weight loss, sexual dysfunction, uh, sexual problems, disturbed sleep, insomnia, um, still can't sleep hours later, even after the high is totally run out, mood swings, irritability, uh, messes with the chemicals in your brain, long-term effects, hard to find pleasure in basic things because our dopamine system and reward system is just a disaster from peaking it with these crack hits nonstop. Delirium, severe depression, psychosis, and extreme long-term desperation or misery. It could take years for a brain to repair after long-term crack addiction. In general, how I describe crack is a few minutes of pleasure, basically 30 to 50 seconds of peak pleasure, and then two to three minutes of high pleasure followed by hours and hours of pain and misery with that desperation come down. As soon as you take that last hit, you will do anything for more. It is insane.